What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here, another HP Compact Pro 6200. This is the micro tower and it'll be upgrades. So first you're gonna do is remove the side cover panel. You're gonna move the two thumb screws here. And uh, we're gonna start off from the video card. Right here, you're gonna move the latch right here, press it down, and you're gonna move the three. I'm gonna be upgrading the video card and the sound card. So to do that, I'm gonna move the PCI brackets. And the video card, guys, I'm gonna be installing is uh, Gigabyte. It's uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, this is the low profile. The power supply in here is a 320 watt, so you don't have to upgrade the power supply, it's really a 320 watt. Should work perfectly fine. So we're gonna be installing the video card through PCI Express uh, times 16 slot right here, the black slot right here, that's where we're gonna install the video card. So the video card is installed, now I'm gonna be installing the sound card. And the sound card I'm installing, guys, is a, it's a Sound Blaster XFI. It's a lot better than the integrated sound. It's a P, using the PCI Express times one slot right here. And we'll be installing right here through P, right here the, 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 the PCI Express times one slot right here. So we installed the sound card. Now I'm going to put the latch back in, lock it. Now what we're gonna do is uh, upgrading the hard drive. So you're gonna, you're gonna disconnect the SATA on power. And there's a little secure clip right here. So you're gonna press like this and release the hard drive. And I'll have to use uh, either flat screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, or Torx T15 screwdriver to remove the screws on each side. And let me get the new hard drive. And get the other side too, to make sure there's all the screws are tight. And just install the hard drive. And you're gonna connect back the SATA power cable back to the hard drive. And you're done. And I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade to Soul State Drive. So all you're gonna do is remove the side cover, front cover baser right here. And uh, what you have to do is, uh, you can use any 2.5 inch Soul State Drive. Basically any 2.5 inch Soul State Drive will work. And you can just use a double sided foam tape right here and install it right here if you wanna do that like this. And uh, or you can just you can go online and get this uh, 3.5 inch 2.5 inch caddy for for the solar state drive. It's a 2.5 inch you can use. So 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch for the hard drive caddy. You can buy those online. It's unbranded, but they sell online for like you can get it. But if you don't want to buy that, then you can just use a double sided foam tape right here and just go like this. Then uh, if you're gonna be using the hard drive to, and solar state drive at the same time, then you have to get a Y splitter cable for the SATA and what they will do is split the cable to get the power for the soul state drive and the hard drive you can buy that line and I'm going to show you so you just the way you install it it's uh so you take this caddy right here and it goes and slides in like this and you just take the SATA power cable and connect it directly to the solar state drive. And 
and you're done. And be the last part, guys, is to be upgrading the memory right here. It's got only four gigs, and we're gonna be upgrading to eight gigs dual channel. So I move the memory. And uh, I'll be using a DDR, uh, DDR3 90CCM buffer for desktop. And the way you install it as a dual channel, you're going to be using two black slots. One in the first one and the third one right here. There were the black, uh, the black slots right here. This is the channel A, a dual channel. And the memory guys I like is a D, uh, Corsair, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are top three brands I like. Install the memory, can't see. And when you install the memory properly, you will hear two clicks. So memory is installed. Uh, we installed a total of eight gigs of dual channel memory. That's uh, that's four gig per each slot. So the memory installed, guys. So we upgraded, guys, uh, the memory, sound card, and the video card. This is like for like light gaming. And I'm gonna put the side front cover basil back on. And I'm gonna put the side cover back on. So what you guys gonna do is you guys gonna plug in the monitor directly to the video card. And when you install the operating system, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the drivers, uh, latest drivers for the video card. And if you're gonna be installing the sound card the same way, then you just have to get the drivers for the sound card too, just for like gaming. So hey guys, this will be the end of the video. Let me close the side cover and we're done. So hey guys, this is for the HP Compact Pro 6200 Micro Tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.